Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 12.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, November 14th, 2017, and this is The Daily Report for Gold and Silver. If not for an extremely weak U.S. dollar, we would have seen gold close lower on the day. It did close higher on the day, but only up about $1.40, closing at 12.8030. The low came in at around 12.69. That is important because it did affect our current trade and our stop. We'll discuss that in detail when we pull up our technical studies. Silver down about two cents. And as I said, an extremely weak U.S. dollar down seven tenths of a percent, 68 points at 93.70. A most interesting day in precious metals today with gold trading nominally higher on the day and silver trading off about two, three cents on the day. So not a very big move. What's important to us right now is the low that gold achieved this morning. If we take a look at this daily candlestick chart. You can see this long line that goes into the area in which we find this superlative support, which is still 62. The market did trade to a low of 1269.70. As you know, we had a long position and we placed stops under 72. Now, while I know that some of our clients place those stops loose, so when I say under 72, they might go three or four dollars or even five dollars below that price point. We have other subscribers that will place it simply a dollar, a dollar fifty below that. In that case, we were stopped out for those that place tight stops in that. We will certainly mark ourselves out. But for those that are still long in the market, if you could please email me, let me know that you are long and where your current stop is so I can effectively work with you as well as our subscribers that are now flat with no active trades. The key right now, without a question of a doubt, is tax reform, whether or not they're going to be able to actually implement a bill and a structure that allows both sides of the political fence to be satisfied. Because currently, the proposed bill by the Republicans really cuts into entitlements that the Democrats simply put, I do not believe will allow. One of the comments coming out today was the repeal again of Obamacare and having it be a health care program that doesn't mandate that you have health care. And the thinking on that is that would save about $338 billion over the next 10 years, but that would affect 13 million people that no longer would get health care. They wouldn't get health care because without the subsidies provided by the Obama program, they're not going to be able to afford it. So in essence, what we would be doing is creating a tax cut that would truly benefit those that are wealthy and well-to-do and truly hurt those that are borderline in terms of income, being able to sustain themselves, but not being able to sustain themselves properly with full health care. Because of that, I think we've got a long way to go before such a bill gets passed. And if, in fact, we see more confusion as to whether or not they'll be able to move forward, I think we will see the dollar come under tremendous pressure, and I think the reciprocal result will be a large spike in gold. On the other hand, if they are able to pull the rabbit out of the hat and actually come to an agreement between both sides of the political fence, I think we would see a strengthening in the dollar and, of course, thereby weakness in gold or any commodity, of course, that is traded or paired against dollars. So for that reason, we need to watch what happens with that bill and what's going on in Washington very closely, because I think that that is going to be the key to the next big move in gold, whether we see a solid and dynamic spike up or whether we see more softness in the market. And traders, just to give you a real idea of just how much the dollar was a tremendous effect on gold today, this of course is a daily chart. And when we look at that daily chart, we can clearly see this large red line representing a tremendous drop, about seven tenths of a percent. When we carry this over, and this screen print was done earlier, you can see that as far as the cash market was concerned when we did this, it was trading up almost $4, $3.80. But on closer inspection, 
Traders were actually selling gold today, taking it down $5.80. And if it's not for a weakening US dollar, which accounted for almost $10, $9.60, we certainly would not have gotten any kind of positive change on the day. Now, my recommendation for those that are flat and got stopped out, we want to sit on the sidelines and see what develops with the proposed tax cuts. For those that are still long the market, as I said, I did ask you to email me along with your position as well as your stop so I could advise you. And lastly, I do want to thank all of those that sent back an email letting me know their interest in following Bitcoin and either adding it to the service or having it as a new ancillary service. And depending upon how much interest there is, so please, for those that are interested in following Bitcoin and investing or trading, and a combination of both, once a futures contract comes out, second week of December, please email me and let me know. Traders, there's absolutely no doubt. Gold has been mired in a tightened to fine range and even though it broke out last week that was only short-lived because it came right back in when we had that single trade move gold down ten dollars on the day as i talked about during the show we were stopped out of our trades some of our subscribers are still in and i did ask you to email me that this has been gary wagner wishing you as always good trading i apologize for not being able to bring that to you today We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.